In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to replace a rear bicycle derailleur. Now, this particular derailleur is a Suntour. This is a vintage 10-speed road bike and I cannot find this new. So this is strictly an experimental type of repair because I cannot find this particular one new and I want a new one. So I found this one here and it seems like the sprockets inside the, the rail are, are like a plastic or PVC material. I'm not sure about the strength or the density of it. I guess it's going to be trial and error. And the question is if it's going to fit. So the only way to tell is to actually install it and see. Because like I said, I cannot find this. And I want to install a new one. So I'm going to try this one, see how it works. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be removing the rear one and I'm going to attempt to replace it with this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this gear that holds the wheel on and the derailleur. So I'm going to use an adjustable wrench. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Now, as you can see, this is damaged. And there's some play over here, so this needs to be replaced. Okay, so I have to remove the gear cable. I'm going to use a slot headed screwdriver. Now, what's important is you should take a video when you do this work because this way you could watch the video back to make sure you put everything in the right place. Okay. Okay, so that's out. Now let's get the new one. So it would be something like this. This sprocket needs to be removed. So I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove it. Okay, now I have to put it back on. Okay, so here's what I did. I removed this sprocket by removing the Phillips head screw. There's a few compartments in there, like washers, and there's like a metal tube that goes through to hold on the sprocket. Once I removed this, it enabled me to get the chain inside because I pushed the chain through because this wasn't here so I pushed it through then after I pushed it through I then reinstalled the sprocket and now I was able to get it around now another way around this is just to cut the chain there's a chain removal tool that you could use to push one of these pins out and then the chain is off so then you can just slide it through so either way that's how you get it through so you could do that either way that's the way I did it it was more simple just to take the screw out and just reassemble the parts inside you could just follow the other sprocket over here if you get confused on how to put the parts back, so now it's on. So after I did that, then I put the derailleur on to the stem that holds on the wheel. And now it's on. Looks like it might work. The next thing I need to do now is to tighten this up. And then once I tighten that, then I can install the gear cable. Now this has to be pushed down as you can see. So you have to hold this down and as I hold it down I'll tighten it. 
Now it comes with this other hardware, but this goes right onto the stem. As you can see, this is a male connection, so there's no way for this to go in. This is just a stem. You just put it on and it's ready to go. There is already a washer here. So this hardware would not apply here. Here you have some tensioning screws to set the level of the derailleur. So as you tighten these and loosen them, this moves in and out. So that's important because you want to make sure this is even with the chain. Okay, so I'm going to install the gear cable. Just slide it right through here. Just pull it out in case it's too deep and you could just pull this out because it retracted when I removed it. Then there's a nut here. That Pull it as I pull this out to eliminate slack. I'm going to tighten this so. And then tighten it up. So I'm going to shift the gear. Let's see if it works. And there you go. Shifting. Now this has to be adjusted based on running the bike. You have to figure out if there's any more slack involved. You have to just continue to pull it and tighten it. Then you can also use these tension screws to further get it right. In order to make sure that it's properly aligned and tensioned. When you install it, the derailleur, you have to push it back this way. And make sure this area, the bottom of the derailleur where it attaches to the wheel, has to be at the base right here and then you tighten the nut so you don't have too much slack over here. So there you go. This was an instructional tutorial on how to replace a rear derailleur on a bicycle. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video and thank you for tuning in.